तुलसी सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरी गोष्ठीपति वंदे गुरुपद्वंद भक्त बिंद समीचैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्रीनंदनंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोदय गोपीजन सयुक्त बिंदाबन मनोहर वाछाकुवश के पास इंदुवच पति पावने वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम मूकोति वाचाल पंगुंगति गिरी यत्कि पातमहंग वंदे परमाधव बृंदा वै तुलसीदेवी पिया वै केशव सच स्नभक्ति पदे देवी सत्वत्वै नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरुंच नरोत्तम देवी सवरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरुभक्तिजुक्त भक्ति प्रमदाक्ष जगोदर धेय सदा परिभवनमीष्टदूह तेथास्पद शिव विरचनुत शरण्यम भेतात्म पनुत पाल भवादीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरुणारिंद यदपल्लवन खचंदमनी छटाय विस्फुजीत कि गोवधुस्वादर्शि पूर्णागरसागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामय कदा काम करोषि श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनीतानंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादी गौरभक्तबिंद श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनीतानंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कपितर कमलायताक्ष भीषाबर द्विजर जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणावतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरासुरवंदि दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दिनी भावे न सदा नरान गंगा तरंगरमणीय जटाकलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषित बाम भाग नारायण प्रिय मनंगमदारम वरानसीपुरपति भज विश्वनाथ वागी सजुस्व वदने लक्ष्मीजस्व भक्षसी यस्ते हृदय संबीत पम निशिंगमह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 
आराध्य भगवान भजसस्तने अस्तधाम वृंदावनम रामा काचिदुपसना ब्रजवदिवर्गेन जाकल्पिता श्रीमद्भागवत प्रमाण ममल पेमापमर्थ महानु श्रीचैतन्य महाप्रभुर्मत इदम तथादरण आराध्य भगवान भजसस्तने अस्तधाम वृंदावनम रामा काचिदुपसना भुजवदिवर्गेन जाकल्पिता श्रीमद्भागवत प्रमाण ममल पेमापमर्थ महानो श्रीचैतन्य महाप्रभुर्मत इदम तत्तादरण पर गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉक्टर भोपाल परमंश जगदगुरु सहित दैन टू गिव द फुल प्रोटेक्शन टू चैतन्य वाणी आई मीन सौत वाणी इज द मेन ड्यूटी वाइटल ड्यूटी ऑफ एन आचार्य कौरिय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉक्टर भोपा परमंश जगदगुरु सहित दे द मोस्ट वाइटल ड्यूटी ऑफ एन आचार्य इज टू गिव फुल प्रोटेक्शन टू सौत पंथा सौत वाणी बिकॉज इफ सौत वाणी इज प्रोटेक्टेड देन एवरीथिंग कैन बी प्रोटेक्टेड If sautobani is somehow protected, protected mean, protected mean, intact way. By protected, protected mean, intact way. Sautobantha, whatever siddhanto bichar, whatever thing we are getting through sautobantha, Prabhupada wanted to say it should be protected fully, because everything depend upon this factor. All of our sampradayik purity, sampradayik prosperity, all bhajan, everything depend upon this main factor. If we are unable to protect our sampradayik bani bhai bhav, then any amount of money we can collect, we can collect money, position, make big, make big big temple, etc. But that can makes no sense. making big big temple everything that can make no sense only protection of bani can give us so popad wanted to say inside our daily bhajan we will have to protect and preserve make the flow of bhakti vinod dhara continuous we will have to make the flow continuous so that near future all of our new generation those who are coming they can also get facility everything and uh, nobody can nobody can destroy us if we can protect our bani bhai bhav main power is there inside this bani even popad used to say bani gaur is more important than sarup gaur bani gaur bani gaur is more important than gaur vigraha because bani gaur can give us quite exact explanation of what is actually similar way if we can understand the bani sharup of prabhupad if we can understand the bani sharup of bhakti vinod thakur then we can be protected otherwise we are doing bhajan we can say but this much nothing else that's why popad used to give very much importance in brihat midanga seva popad used to give big importance in brihat midanga seva what do you mean by brihat midanga seva this midanga if you play this midango can go up to this room or maximum can go out of it not go beyond that follow if you play midango is good midango is nistananda but you play midango do kirtan midango can go maximum certain distance but after that midango sound nobody can hear so by brihat midango prabhupad used to say all the time Bob was very much interested about Brihat Midango by the help of Brihat Midango Prabhupad used to wanted to propagate the teachings of Gauranga Mahaprabhu intact way all over the world intact way not 
without any distortion. Papa wanted to make Vyad Vidanga Lila. Vyad Vidanga Lila, all publication, different kind of publication. Daily Nadia Prakash, daily Nadia Prakash. After that, weekly uh, Gauriya or Sajanto Sani. So many books and papers are also in different languages. Now, at present, we are thinking with this kind of all advanced technology, with all advanced technology, we cannot do like Prabhupada. How it was possible for us? Even with advanced technology, we are failure. Whereas Prabhupada used to de do whole day and night this kind of stuff. How much love and affection Prabhupada have for Gaurang Mahapu and his Bani. So that day and night, no resting, he used to preach. And Prabhupada was very careful about this factor. Anybody going to change any Siddhanta Vichar or anybody going to make some manipulation, very careful. Anybody, any if a Prabhupada going to watch some behavior is a little bit different. No anugata. His behavior is talking, looking like. Oh, he, used to, he used to take heavy action. He wanted to preach the teachings of Gorang Mahapu in intact way. Intact way. So our Guru Bhargava also, they also wanted to preach this. This way. So, Gorang Mahaprabhu in Nilachal Dham is doing Leela, doing Leela and speaking. Leela means he is speaking something, doing something, all different series of incidents, all Mahaprabhu's different action. Sometimes speaking something, sometimes doing something, sometimes going to chastise something, sometimes going to give honor to Guru Varga, each and every action of Sivan Mahaprabhu is our one kind of teaching for us. Is all one kind of teaching for us. The slok I started with is very important slok. In this slok we can find the total gist of Gauriya Bhajan. Gist, total Gauriya Bhajan well, gist, you can find it. Or we can say, uh, it is one kind of syllabus, you know. Suppose you are going to take admission in some college or university, in particular course. So, university man can give you some syllabus. You have to arrange this on the study, on those subject matters you have to do. After that, you can appear in exam and uh, accordingly you will have to do. So, this sloka is actually one kind of gist of all Gauriya Bhajan, not self. If two, three line, if somebody is going to speak, you speak oh, what is Gauriya Bhajan, then if you write this sloka, it can speak all about that Gauriya Bhajan gist. That is Aradha Bhagavad, that Mahaprabhu whole life wanted to do this, wanted to show this thing, different kind of little. Aradha Bhagavan Vajasasthanayas Taddhama Vindavan. Our worshipable object, even Mahaprabhu, he himself is Krishna. But he always wanted to show how to worship Krishna, how to love Krishna. He never wanted to say, I am Krishna. He himself is Swamru Bhagavan. But the main thing is that he never wanted to identify himself. If somebody is going to speak, don't speak like that. Don't speak. Bonded soul. If you speak bonded soul, Krishna, if you speak, if you speak uh, Krishna to a bonded soul, it's not good. Great offense. Mahapunima. Whereas he is himself Krishna. So, Aradha Bhagavan, our worshipable object is only who? Brajesha Tanaya. Atat Nandanan Krishna. Our worshipable object is Radhikanath Krishna, Nandanandan Krishna. Our possible object is Nandanandan Krishna or Radhika Raman Krishna. 
that's all. Not Mathuranath Krishna and not uh, Darukadhish Krishna, we, we are less interested. We are less interested. Darukadhish Krishna, Mathuradhish Krishna, we cannot. Sometime somebody doing bhajan of Krishna, but their bhajan cannot give exact result. Like one example I can speak. One important figure, her name is Mirabai. You heard the name of Mirabai. She got Krishna. She has her bhajan kutir in Vrindavan near Radha Damodar Mandir. Perhaps you don't know. Maybe a lane, different lane. Well. There Mirabai, she used to do bhajan all the way, all the time. No sense gratification, nothing. She is queen, a queen actually. But she never wanted to mix with anybody, right from the beginning. She was less interested. She accepted Krishna as, as her own husband. She is doing bhajan. And what Krishna? Which Krishna? Which Krishna? Nandanandan Krishna. He is writing Kirtan, doing, uh, doing Kirtan of Nandanandan Krishna. Always. Mera to Giridhari Lal, Dusra na kahi. I know only Giridhari Lal. I want nothing. It's my only object in my life. She is doing with full attention, nice. But she made one mistake. What is that? She didn't think it necessary to follow Simati Radharani. She thought Radharani is her, you know, competitor. I, I love Krishna. Uh, Radharani also loves Krishna. So why should I? She made one mistake. So whole life she is doing bhajan of Nandanandan Krishna. Be careful. Always. Nandanandan Krishna. Also Giridhari Lal. Nothing else. But ultimately... She could not attain the lotus feet of Nandanand Krishna. This mistake we should not do. That is the main thing. So, when ultimately at the last moment by the inspiration of Bhagavan, she went to Daruka. Daruka. She went to Daruka. And while watching Krishna, I mean Daruka this Krishna, she submerged. She wanted to commit suicide first. He is not getting Krishna. Wanted to jump into the ocean. But Krishna from backside, catch. Very important. But one spectacular thing is that Krishna going to best to keep up. Okay. But not like Brajogopi. She is going to, Krishna going to give her a position as the Mahishi of Daruka. Mahishya of Daruka mean like uh, Rukini, Shatabhama, Adi, Jambati, like them. She is going a place like them, not special post like Brajagopikas. This is very important. If in our whole life we are doing Krishna Bhajan and we are not going to going to follow Simati Radharani or Gopikas, then our bhajan can come to a flop end. It cannot come out successful. Come out successful as Gauriya bhajan, we are failing. Gauriya bhajan always under this guidance of Simati Radharani or Prajapita. That the very thing is clarified in the sloka. Aradha Bhagavan Vajasastanaya Staddhama Vindavanam. Our shippable object is Nandanandan Krishna. Aradha Bhagavan Vajasastanaya Tadhyama Vindavana. We are less interested about Daruka Mathura. Less interested. We are only interested about Vindavan. Vindavan. Aradha Bhagavan Vajasastanaya Tadhyama Vindavana. Tadhyama Vindavana. How, how, you can, how you can serve Krishna? How you can serve? Under the guidance of Gopikas. 
आराध्य भगवान वैशिष्ठने धाम बिंदावन रामा काचित उपासना ब्रजबोध वर्गे न जाकर पिता द वे ब्रजवासी ब्रजबोध वर्गे न जाकर पिता द वे दे सर्व दे आर सर्विंग इटर्नली प्रेजेंट सो सर्विंग सर्व सो द वे दे आर सर्विंग कृष्ण दिस वे वील हैव टू सर्व और अदर वे If you like to serve Krishna, you cannot get. You cannot get. You cannot get non 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 Krishna. So, Aradha Bhagavan Vishnu Sastana Yastha Dhamma Bindavanam Ramma Kaji Do Basana Prajapati Vargena Jakal Pita and Aspasimad Bhagavatam Aspasimad Mahaprabhu Simad Bhagavatam is the topmost evidence which can give even prema Krishna prema. Because Bhagavad Ji Mahapuran and Krishna non-different from each other, non-different, no identical, non-different, okay, no identical. What is Krishna? That is Bhagavad. Krishna parivartito, Krishna converted into sound vibration. I mean Bhagavad. Krishna parivartita, or as per Sukhdev Goswami. नंद नंदन कृष्ण तू स्वयं भगवान है सुखदेव गोस्वामी स्पीकिंग साक्षात कृष्ण एव ही श्रीमद भागवतम सुखदेव गोस्वामी आसपास सुखदेव गोस्वामी सुखदेव गोस्वामी स्पीकिंग श्रीमद भागवतम साक्षात कृष्ण एव ही साक्षात कृष्ण एव ही ही हिमसेल्फ एफर्मेटिव कृष्ण हिमसेल्फ Coming in the form of sound, I already told Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu repeatedly wanted to give importance to this point. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, especially you can find, you cannot find any such advice. You can make this, that, this, that, never. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu always speaking through Sankirtan, Sadho Sadan Tattva Jekushi Shakal, whatever. You like to get through sadhu sadhan tattva. All you can get through nam sankirtan. Nam sankirtan is five sakal. So Sukhdev Goswami wanted to say, Simad Bhagwan Ji Mahapran Shakshat Krishna Evahi, no other than. And we can express some doubt. How possible? Then we know kali kale nam rupe Krishna avatar. Krishna appearing in this Kali Yuga in the form of Nam Sankita. In the form of Nam, Kali Kale Nam Rupe Krishna Avatar. This we can we can speak, but we cannot believe. Many times we are speaking, but we cannot believe. We, how possible? Name and Krishna same? Yes. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to speak in his Sikhastakam. Nam Nam Akari Bahuda. Nam Nam Akari Bahuda. Nijo Sarvasakti Stattar Pita. Niyamita Smarane No Kalo. Eta Dishita Bhakibha Bhagavan Mamapi. Duddhaiva Middisha Mihajuni Nanuraga. Second slow. Sikhastakam. Nam Nam Akari Bahuda. Nijo Sarvasakti Stattar Pita. Bhagavan, you appear in the form of name. And you are going to provide all your shakti, power inside him. All your power. Brahma got the name, uh, go, Brahma got the power of creation by now. Hanumanji was successful to make the bridge up to Lanka by the power of Nam. What not possible was? Everything possible by now. Nam is so far. I told you, Krishna. Uh, Krishna, weight of Krishna was balanced by the name of Radharanya. So powerful. So, Nam Nam Akari Bahuda Nijo Sarvasakti Stattar Pita Niyamita Smarnir Kalo Bhagavan not going to keep Bhagavan not going to keep any condition or uh, any purity, everything. You have to maintain, na? But Bhagavan, any time you can do Nam. Any moment, any time you can do Nam. Nam, Nam, Akari, Bahuda, Nijya, Sarvahati, all power we are going to transfer in it. Yes. 
Satarpe Niyamita Spani. There is no hard and fast rule that you have morning time, five o'clock you can do, and noon time to not that. All. Exactly you can do. You can do everything. Any time. Mahaprabhu and Sarbakhan Baloite Bidinahya, that is the main teachings of Sriman Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu wanted to teach us that through Harinam you can get everything. Not that you can meet with Krishna only. You can see all Leela of Krishna, everything. Because inside name, all everything in the form of sheet. In the form of seed, inside down. Nam, when going to expand, then within name you can find all, oh, everything. Dhamma, Nama, everything all, inside now. Inside you can get all Leela, everything. So that Mahaprabhu wanted to say. So in second sloka of Sikha Stakam, Mahaprabhu speaking, Nam, Nam, Akari, Bahuda, Nijo, Sarvati, Stakar, Niyamita, Smarnino, Kalo, so, unique mercy, absolute mercy, you are swaying to us. You appear in the form of different name. But we are unlucky that we are not going to uh, develop interest in your Harinam. You know? So, Srimad Bhagavad Mahapuran, as per the first sloka I started with, Srimad Bhagavatam Pramanam Amalam. Amal Praman mean absolute Praman. Amal Praman mean absolute Praman. Pramanam Amalam. And Pema Pumartho Mahano. That Bhagavad Gita Mahapana itself, if you can hear from a right source, particular. I mean, you will have to hear Bhagavad from a Bhagavad. You will have to hear Bhagavad from a Bhagavad. I mean, Bhakta Bhagavad. Bhakta Bhagavad can recite, Bhakta Bhagavat can recite, Gurantu Bhagavat, uh, out of his loveful mood, then you can hear. That you can hear. That is the main thing. So, Mahaprabhu speaking actually, Gurantu Bhagavat can recite, Bhakta Bhagavat can do. Otherwise, all other people reciting, no. So, Srimad Bhagavatam Pirvana Mamalam, you can get Prema, which is the Absolute treasure for us. Barbali, we are speaking, not feeling that Krishna Prema is the absolute treasure. Barbali, we are speaking, but we are not thinking, feeling. This way, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to explain this point total. Mane total Simad Bhagavatam. Simad Bhagavatam, I mean Krishna Lila. Simad Bhagavatam means Krishna. Simad Bhagavatam means Krishna. Krishna Lila. Krishna Lila means Krishna Lila and his devotee, all his devotees, all Leelas. Okay, Srimad Bhagavatam is equal to Krishna. Krishna is equal to Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Same. So he wanted to explain whole Bhagavatam or we can say more clearly the Gaur Lila is the complete explanation of Krishna Lila. Gaur Lila is the complete explanation of Krishna Lila, or we can say Gaur Lila is the complete explanation of Srimad Bhagavatam. Why we say the Mahabhagavad Vaishnava? Why you say? Why we say this way? Mahabhagavad Vaishnava. Why we say? Because you can find the application of Srimad Bhagavatam in his life. So you see, his great devotee, Mahabhagavad. We say now, sometimes it's great devotee, Mahabhagavat, we are speaking. Why so? Because Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran, we can find in applied form in the life of that great exalted devotee. Sriman Mahaprabhu always and every time wanted to apply this formula among us. He wanted to show, they had to do it. Anyway, I already told. Srila Rupa Goswami Pad already coming, reaching the Bhajan Kutir of Haridas Thakur is staying with him. They are all going to show the same etiquette, many the same in humble attitude. I have no right to enter into Jagannath temple. 
have no right to enter into Gambhira. All devotees coming, we can get contaminated. How humble attitude. And we are false ego. Why? I'm not. Parmesan Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, it was the standing instruction of Siddhar Goswami Maharaj to the mortar in charge. I don't like to name. Don't allow anybody and everybody inside kitchen. Don't allow anybody and everybody inside, inside temple. Be careful. Don't allow anybody and everybody. First of all, don't allow anybody and everybody in Vyasasana. But who is going to hear? Somebody, after hearing this kind of comment, become angry. Why you are not allowed? We are also initiated. Why you are not allowed? So much false ego. Why I am not allowed inside kitchen? Why I am not allowed inside, you know, mandir for perceiving? Why not? Who can give this answer of this why? They are not, it, not ready to hear clearly. So much false ego. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu could easily put pressure on Sanatana Rup. Hey, why? What happens? Go, come with me to Jagannath. He could speak. Mahaprabhu is not foolish. Mahaprabhu having clear idea how much purity they have. Internal purity, external purity, whatever purity you would like to mean. What purity you mean? What purity you mean? Hereditical factor or topmost? Regarding hereditical factor, regarding appearance, so nice, Brahman, high, so knowledge. Eh? Big knowledgeable person, such as Sastra Gyani Pandit. Mahaprabhu could, e could easily put pressure on, hey, come with me to Jagannath. Let us go. But Mahaprabhu not speaking. Mahaprabhu not speaking. You see the case. Mahaprabhu could easily, at least Mahaprabhu could, could bring Haridas Thakur inside Gombira Mandir. But Haridas Thakur not going. And Mahaprabhu not putting pressure. I come to her. Ma come. Rather, Mahaprabhu going to speak. That I can go to meet with you every day. You see, Jagannath himself walking and going to meet with them. What a wonderful thing. Whole world going to take darshan of Jagannath. As Jagannath is very much interested to see Haridas. Like the case I told uh, uh, about uh, 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 Durva Maharaj. Bhagavan speaking, I... I can go to see my small bhakta. I can go to see. I can go to Madhuban to have a darshan of my small bhakta. Not to give darshan. So what a kind of thing. If we think and we can go mad. How nice. So every day it was the system of Mahaprabhu. Every day Mahaprabhu from Jagannath temple Every arti watching arati and coming back, uh, coming to Haridas Thakur. And if Haridas Thakur, with Haridas Thakur, if Sanatana is there, Sanatana also. If Haridas Thakur, Sanatana was, when Sanatana coming, Sanatana staying with Haridas Thakur. When, when uh, Rupa Goswami was staying, Mahaprabhu going to meet. But never Mahaprabhu wanted to put pesa. That is one nice teaching. What is the secret teaching is that Mahaprabhu never wanted to break the Varnasam system. Though Varnasam system is effective up to certain limit. Don't forget this. Varnasam system is applicable, effective up to certain point. After that, Varnasam system is not applicable. Suppose now Somebody is, you know, in this position. Okay, nice. Varnasam, as per Varnasam is Khatri or this, that. Or Vaishya, maybe. Maybe. But in course of his doing bhajan, when he is going to the level of Paramansa, when he is going to reach the level of Paramansa, all around Krishna, all around Krishna. So you can apply Varnasam Dharma for that man also. No. Now he is reaching Paramahansa Avastha. Now Varnasam Dharma is not at all applicable here. 
Varna Samdha is applicable up to certain limit. After that, not applicable. So, how you can apply? Not applicable. So, Rupa Goswami Path, Sanatana Goswami Path, they are all, naturally they are Paramahansa. They need not take any Paramahansa base, like North Thamadhaku. Whole life he was there with the dhoti, dhoti, you know, dhoti, with dhoti. Whole life, not taking the dress of sannyas, nothing. Whole life with a plain devotee like dhoti. But his natural parvangsa. In that case, you cannot apply it. Shiman Mahaprabhu wanted to show the same thing. But those big, big idiot scholars of university here, there, they wanted to write so many things against Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I have those writings, some of those. Mahaprabhu broke the Varnasam system, everything. He wrote, they are writing. But Mahaprabhu is the only man. Man, not God. Mahaprabhu is the only. He wanted to break all Varnasam system, everything. He wanted to make a flat. Who told Mahaprabhu wanted to break? Who told Mahaprabhu wanted to break Varnasam? Anyway, those who are the devotees of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, elevated devotees, Having tremendous love from Mahaprabhu, they can be in Grihastha life or a Tagi, they are all Paramahamsa. They are all Paramahamsa. But they say Mahaprabhu wanted to break. Mahaprabhu never wanted to break. Mahaprabhu very careful. At the same time, Mahaprabhu is going to love his devotees from heart. Haridas Thakur is the heart of Mahaprabhu. At the same time, Mahaprabhu is not speaking, you come. Inside Gambiram, balance. This way Mahaprabhu wanted to show the humble attitude of devotees. So, though they are very elevated, they are so elevated, they are so elevated, the Krishna is looking up to look them. Yes, Krishna looking up. How elevated? Mahaprabhu speaking this. I am not speaking only philosophy. Mahaprabhu Sanatan so, gone, but I forget to speak this Leela. Mahaprabhu speaking that I am, you feel sorry because I embrace you, because you have skin disease. But you don't know, Krishna is going to make skin disease in your body to test me. If I am going to think you are material, oh, skin disease or poison, ah, I cannot. Then Krishna cannot forgive me because I know. The body of Krishna, body of devotee is transcendental aprakito. Mahaprabhu teaching us the pure devotee, their body is aprakito. Maybe externally you can find some disease. That is for your testing. Not disease. Pure devotee. So Mahaprabhu speaking, Tvaridas. Krishna making this, Krishna arrange this kind of skin disease in your body to test me. To test me, I love a devotee or not, from heart or not. If I am not going to love you this way, if I hate you, uh, then Krishna cannot forgive me. And be sure, Prabhupada, Mahaprabhu speaking, so not on gone, but I am speaking some Leela, what happened. Mahaprabhu speaking, Prabhu kahe tomas porshi pavitru heite. Prabhu kahe tomas porshi pavitru heite. Tomar pavitru gun nahi ko amate. Prabhu speaking, I am going to touch you. He feels sorry. But you know why I am speak, touching you? Because that kind of purity I don't have. Prabhu speaking, what kind of purity you have, I don't have. That's why I am going to touch you to get purity. Prabhu kahe tomas porsi pavitru heite. To make, to purify myself. Now you understand how much false ego we have. How much false ego we have, you see. The Prabhu speaking that tomas porsi, Prabhu kahe tomas porsi pavitru heite. I am touching you to purify myself. That kind of purity I don't have inside me. Bhagavan speaking. 
try to realize Bhagavan speaking. That kind of purity I don't have. So devotees from any place, if they become pure devotee, there should not be any restriction. Any pure devotee, when become pure, then no restriction applicable. No varna, sam, dharma, nothing. But still, all the Leela Mahaprabhu wanted to keep balance. Mahaprabhu wanted to protect varna, sam, dharma. At the same time, inside, Mahaprabhu used to love them, like Chandrasekhar. Chandrasekhar, Acharya Bhavan in Varanasi, Mahaprabhu used to stay, but used to take prasadam with Tapan Mishra, with the Brahma. So, if you think Mahaprabhu used to hate Tapan Mishra, uh, Chandrasekhar is not there. Mahaprabhu wanted to keep balance. He is, I am staying there to give best to keep up by taking prasadam in the house of Tapan Mishra. Even if you go to go to Mathura, they are also Sonariya Brahman. Sonariya Brahman cannot give any uh, any uh, anything to one sannyasi or those who are in Sonariya Brahman says, no, you cannot take from me. I am Sonariya Brahman. I am low grade Brahman. Mahaprabhu, no. Mahayano yeno gato sapantha. What our Mahajan has shown the way that I am applicable. If I am going to play, you try to understand. This is one issue, big issue. We have to mark it. If some Acharya is going to speak wrong way, then he is totally finished. Whereas Mahaprabhu himself speaking. I am not going to play my head because what, what my previous Acharya has done, that is my duty. I cannot say anything, ba 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 ba, nothing against anybody. Maha yanu genu genu gato sapanta. So Madhavendu Puripa took prasadam in your heart. So surely I can with oh people can criticize. Let them criticize. Maha yanu genu gato sapanta. What our Mahayan previous acharyas done, big big acharyas, then I will to follow the same. Acharyas I mean great. Now, next generation after that, we gone. If somebody is a fallen Acharya, you say, Mahajana Gita, then a failure. After our next generation, because now day by day contamination. After that, if somebody is going to apply this pole, oh, Mahajana Jeno Gita Samadha, they can apply. So I like to put one you know, remark here. They can apply. Oh, he who already told Mahajana, so he is also not that. Mahajana means. Those who are having all characteristics, behavior, everything, satisfying all sastra, everything. Not that, whom is I am elected Acharya, not that. Mahaprabhu cannot have Rupi. So they are also. Now, so, now like Sanatana Goswami, Rupa Goswami Mahavad also not entering into Gambira, not entering into Jagannath temple. Prabhu coming and giving darshan. And Sanatan, with Sanatan, that case I forget to speak, I forgot. So I remember you, Mahaprabhu speaking, Prabhu kahe tomas porshi pavitru haite, tomar pavitru gun nahi tuama. I am touching you for my own benefit. I like to purify myself. That kind of purity is surely not there inside me, Mahaprabhu speaking. But externally, Mahaprabhu, don't going to break any rules and regulations. But internally, similar way, our Haridas, our Bhakti Minotakur wanted to give instruction to Bhimalapasha Saraswati. That you will have to install Daiva Varnasram. Mahaprabhu, actually, Daiva Varnasram, actually, we don't understand. Bhagavan Sikh is no already told. And in Bhagavatam also written, but nobody can look. Daiva Varnasam, this factor, not new. Already in Bhagavatam, you know, in Gita, everything, but still need to be installed again because people not going to not going to obey. They like to ignore the system. Daiva Varnasam, that's why. Mahaprabhu also, whole Leela, Mahaprabhu wanted to give importance to Doiva Varnasam. 
Daiva Varna means what kind of Baba? Externally you can find Haridas Chaku is from Muslim family. Externally you can find Bhangshidas Baba Ji Maharaj is from the fisherman family. Gorkhisar Baba Ji Maharaj is from Vaishya family. Our Raghunath Das Gosai is from Vaishya family. But that, that we need not play our head over this issue. We we'll have to pay attention to the main factor. What I told long ago, maybe you forgot. That Rishabh Dev, who is Rishabh Dev? Rishabh Dev is the Shaktabe Sabhatar, about whom you can find in fifth canto about Shaktabe about Shaktabe Sabhatar, Rishabh Dev. You can find in fifth canto. But Shaktabe Sabhatar. Rishabh Dev, okay, but he is Khatriyo. He is Khatriyo, na? Rishabh Dev is Khatriyo. Rishabh Dev is Khatriyo. But all his songs, hundred songs, out of that, Bhar Bharat Maharaj is the topmost. Nine become Nabe Yogendra. Nine become Nabe Yogendra. Bharat Maharaj is the Follow. This way, rest we can find 81 of his sons, they become Karmakandi Brahman. Now you can put how possible Maharaj, they are Khatriyo, how they can Brahman? They can put question. How they can Brahman? They are Khatriyo. But this way, judgment you cannot give. Everything, like morning time I was speaking, now. That how Gautama Muni calculating. You have your truthfulness. Your nature, your appearance of truthfulness. You are actually surely Brahman. I mean, on the basis of Bhagavan Sri Krishna already told, but nobody is going to play here. Chaturvarno Maya system guno karma vibhagasa. Chaturvarno Maya system guno karma vibhagasa. Gun and karma. What is your bhava? What is your nature? Eh? Guna karma. And what you like to do? Guna karma. According to that. Not that one son of Brahman is a Brahman. Now, hereditary factor of Brahman, they, are, they cannot maintain purity. All contaminated. For the past seven consecutive period, I mean, step. If they are able to maintain Brahmanism, they are Brahman. Or at present, if you are going to, uh, n not going to put so much restriction, then at least three consecutive, three, at least three. Maybe you can say Maharaj Kolika, seven, not, okay, at least three. Three consecutive, you can prove that all your nature, character, behavior, all tally, where all the qualities written about Brahman. Because there are some specific qualities there, na? Samo, Damo, Saucho, Saralata, Arjaba, everything all. You are going to tally. And even that, even after that, all tally. All going to tally with you, your character. But one not going to tally. What is that? Reconcile you can. Suppose all the qualities of Brahman going to match with you. But one not matching. What is that? You have no faith, you have no faith in Vishnu, Vishnu, Bhagavan. You have no faith in Narayan, Vishnu or Krishna. Vishnu, Tattva, Vishnu. Then you are not wrong. Viprad, Disaraguna, Yutad, Aravindu, Rava, Pada, Aravindu, Vimukhat, Sapacham, Virishtam. So, any amount of, if you have all decorated with all twelve qualities, all twelve qualities which we can find in a real Brahman. That may be they are decorated, you are decorated. But one thing is missing, that is, you have no faith in Bhagavan. Then you are not. Viprad Disaraguna Yutat Aravindanabo Padarabinda Vimukha Sapacham Barishta. So Daiva Varna Sam not new. But still it was almost missing. All people doing according to a whimsical attitude. Finally, Bhakti Mithra 
was bound to give instruction to Vimala Prasad, you must try to install Daiva Varnasam because big, big Vaishnavas, exalted Vaishnavas, they are, be, they are going to be insulted by those demons. Those who deva, demon, they deva, demand we are Trump, Brahman. By them, they are going to be insulted. Even in the life of Prabhupada, it happens so. Prabhupada was there in the Bhajan Kutir in Radha Kund. Some Panda speaking, that Unardas Gosai was from a very low caste. So he used, he used to stay here. He used to pray pranam unto a lotus feet, our father, forefather. He used to take dust particle from, from because he was from low caste. After hearing this, Prabhupada was like fire. Prabhupada was like fire. As an Acharya, what is it? You see the present Acharya and Prabhupada, what Prabhupada wanted. By hearing this kind of this kind of insult, insulting remark. Now any amount of insulting remark you can find about a Guru Varga or present Acharya. Okay. No, no, you are big Vishnam. You are great Vishnam, na. If you can the protest, then everybody can say he is not Vishnam, he is protesting. Nobody is speaking. Not in a single one. All rubbish happening all around. All rubbish. They like to project themselves, we are great Vishnam. That's why we are not speaking anything. But the symptom of a great Vaishnava is to protest, Papa told. If not doing, he is going to be displaced from his position, Bhakti Mahatma All writing there, I can show you. So, after hearing this kind of insulting remark, after hearing this kind of insulting remark, Papa started fasting. No water, no prasadam, nothing. Continuously, two, three days gone. All the news spread all around. Then all other pandas and everybody, they catch that panda, go, immediately you can die. You're going to catch him and bring in front of you, beg for apology. And Prabhupada started speaking Harikatha about Daiva Varnasam. We, can, we cannot put Raghunath Das Goswami in the category of Shudra, Brahman, Vaishna, Ay, Brahman, or Khatriyo. The, within this category, we cannot put. It's, it's a wrong conception. Devotees are devotees. If one pure devotee is, I can find from foreign country, like our Sadhananda Swami, by chance he is taking bath. He is so pure, even Indian people cannot be so pure. Indian devotees. We don't know in our whole life we can touch the purity of that Sadhanand Swami. So great. His position. I honor always. How, when I can reach up to that point. So Prabhupada never wanted to say he is from Kandi, so he is not. No. Prabhupada never wanted to say. This was not the judgment of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu never told. So Prabhupada wanted to give this appropriate Siddhanta Bishad. We have no right to speak that Raghunath Das Gosai has taken bath in a low family. We have no right to speak. Mahaprabhu never wanted to teach it. So, this was one kind of revolution in Radha Kund among the society of Panda. They become very alert. Even Prabhupada was insulted. Insulted means he was not allowed with all devotees in one temple. There is written. Some panda, some, he wanted to play some trick. Then Kusai Maharaj, they wanted to, oh, he is making all Shudra, everything disciples, so we cannot allow. After that, Goswami Maharaj, a Brahman Maharaj, like lion, they solved the problem. Goswami Maharaj, Prabhupada need not go, only they are sufficient, more than sufficient. When they are starting debate, and they cut them like a you know, beast, idiot, eh? How you speak like this? He's speaking. He is making all Shudra disciples giving scar that. So you are not allowed. Are you not allowed, brother? We are from this family. Brahman family. Gosai Maharaj is from the topmost Brahmin family. Ban Maharaj, Vapas Brahmin family. Who knows? Sridhar Maharaj from that. Our Guru Maharaj. Who told? This kind of wrong conception. 
So we will have to give fitting answer. It is the duty of an Acharya to give fitting answer. So anyway, this way Prabhupada, uh, our Gaurang Mahapur never wanted to put pressure on anybody. At the same time, used to make one balance with it. Even regarding Siddhanta Vichar, have you seen any single instant? Have you seen any, any single instant in the whole Leela of Gaurang Mahapur or Bhakti Mir Thakur or Prabhupada then making some Siddhanta Virod, making mistake? You go through all the writings of? All our Guru Bhargava following Bhakti Mir Thakur and Prabhupada. Bhakti Mir Thakur following Gaurang Mahapur. Oh, exactly. At all, there is any disparity like lion Prabhupada. Huh. It is one kind of Leela. Previous Guru of Bhakti Mir Thakur wanted to put his leg on the head of Bhakti Mir Thakur. Previous, I don't like to name. I don't like to name because Popa left, uh, Bhakti Mir Thakur left him. He wanted to put his leg on the head of Bhakti Mir Thakur. When he is paying pranam, he is going to put the leg on. And Bhimala Prasad was seven years boy, small. He become like lion. Do you think you have your power to put your leg on this, in this Mahajan? Do you think you have your power? Can you prove your power? He was spoke. Small boy. What is this? Because Bhakti Thakur is a Gauranga Parsa. Not one great devotee and Pandit. Bhakti Thakur coming from Gauranga Mahaprabhu to rectify the situation. Oh. But he going to put his leg on the head of Bhakti Thakur. The protest note. So Prabhupada is not Vaishnav. He wanted to protest. Surely he is not a Vishnam, no? Prabhupada wanted to pose a lion, was seven year boy, like lion. Like, like lion, seven years boy. Do you think you have your power to put your leg on the head of Bhakti Muttaku? Protest, everybody cannot do. To, to protest, you will have your background. No background, nothing, you are floating in the air. How you can. Before protesting, you will have your background, solid background. Otherwise, you can die. So, in Nilachal, our Rupa Goswami path, leading life, very niskinchan, is feeling comfortable with Haridas Thakur. Haridas Thakur niskinchan, namacharjo. Rupa Goswami path, always busy with writing, doing Harina. Eh? Because Sarva Goswami is Thakum, we know, in Vrindavan, how they used to lead their life. Eh? We know. Nidrahara Bihara Kadi Vijito Chatanta Dino Chajo. Always no sleeping, no eating, ah, writing. How possible? This possible for them. So our Rubhuga Sahib are feeling comfortable with Haridashtak. There's a matching, na? Haridashtak is not disturbing anything. Not going anywhere, always doing Harinam, Tulsi Seva, Parikram, and always discussing about Gauranga Leela. Haridasa goes speaking, our Rupa Goswami was hearing, sometimes Rupa Goswami was speaking, Prabhu hearing, all. Oh, even they in Vindavan, when Rupa Goswami Pad, Sonatan Goswami Pad, Gopal Bhattu Goswami, eh, Raghunath Bhattu Goswami, Raghunath Bhattu Goswami, when they used to stay there, they were always in group, speaking about Gauranga. Speaking about Gauranga. All they are hearing about Gauranga. Ah, nice. All different days. It's impossible to go up to that point and realize that situation. Transcendental bliss. So anyway, one day, Bhagavan Acharya, I told you the name or I forgot. Bhagavan Acharya, one layman, I mean one leg is defective. Very great, nice devotee. Bhagavan Acharya is staying in Purushottam Nam because Mahaprabhu is there. Bhagavan Acharya. So he is very plain hearted, very plain hearted, no complaints. Very plain hearted. <coughs> now, one of his friends, 
Ah, you can say, brother also you can say. Is coming from Varanasi, here, there, where from is coming. His, his name is Prakito Kopi. His name given in Chaitanya Chaitamito, in Chaitanya Chaitamito, Prakito Kopi, material Kavi, material writer, material poet. Material poet. His name given in Chaitanya Chaitamito, Prakito Kavi. So he is coming. After a long time, he is meeting with Bhagavan Das, everything. So he wrote uh, something about Gauranga. How much adversity you see? He wrote so many things about Gauranga Leela. <coughs> Gauranga Tata. And Bhagavan Das, his friend, Bhagavan Das is going to insist, Bhagavan Das, oh, you arrange the situation, uh, one assembly in which I can go on reciting. What I have written, what all I have written, I like to recite in from all exalted devotees. So Bhagavan Das is plain hearted. Okay, okay, okay. I can arrange one place nice. Everybody can hear you. Then he is going to request all devotees. Hey, he is coming as all learning Vedanta, everything from Bharana coming. Why not we hear? Uh, he is writing all uh, Gauranga Tatta, everything. Then Saurav Gosa is speaking. You are very plain hearted, like coward boys. Say anybody writing anything, you, no, no, it's great Pandit. If you get here, you can realize. <laughs> very plain hearted. If you hear, then you can realize. They are not going to uh, no, give any chance because Mahaprabhu, because the Prakito Kubi like to reside in front of Mahaprabhu. How much adversity? He say, like Balava Charjo, I was told, he liked to recite. I have written Bhagavad commentary, why not you hear? Mahaprabhu, I have no right, I don't understand anything about Bhagavatam. I know nothing about what is Bhagavatam. So, what I can do? You can recite from some other places. Mahaprabhu like to ignore him. So, this way, everybody, hey, Bhagavan Das, Bhagavan Acharya going to request everybody. Why not you here? Why not you? He's coming long. He learned Vedanta, everything. So then finally, they took decision well. In the noon time, we all devotees can sit in uh, one place. And then he can go on reciting. Then we, and Saru Gosai, the topmost Siddhanta with. I can say tomorrow, that why we say Saru Gosai? Saru Gosai is the topmost. Tomorrow I can discuss this point. Just now, man, afternoon time. How we know Saruga said topmost? Who gave the, him the authority? That we can discuss tomorrow. Nila Chal Nila. So, Sarugusa is the leader of all. Sarugusa under the guidance of Sarugusa, all devotees sitting in the noon time because this was a system set by Mahaprabhu. Anybody making any drama or any writing, any article, any uh, poem, anything, words, anything. First of all, any writing, any writing, anybody writing anything, anybody writing anything should be approved and and approved by Sarv Gosai, first of all. Follow. Tested and approved by Saurabh Gosai. If there is one stamp, then okay. Like in our bhajan life, if we find one writing of Bhakti Siddhanta, oh, no problem. It is one stamp by Gauranga. If somebody is going to find any solution of any problem, like one Mataji started fighting with Mina, that Urisha uh, Puri Mahaj is about a woman as a when I give the document from Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he wrote this, then he becomes set up. I give the evidence from Chaitanya Sikhamrita. That, you see, you cannot remember. Maybe 18 or 20 years back, I read it. 20 years, 18 years. Bhaktivinoda Thakur told where? Bhaktivinoda Thakur told where? I'm searching. Immediately, oh, I can search that Chaitanya Then I search. Third chapter of five. 
But I gone through that writing long ago, 18, 20 years back, I remember. So I, when I quote, I make the scan copy. If you know Bengali, you can find this, and this is a document. Then she become strong. Otherwise, she is fighting. They are fighting. Boy, boy. This is the condition. So, when we can get any writing of Bhakti Mano Thakur or Prabhupada or Siddhar Goswami, Bhakti Mano Bhari Goswami, it is all blindly we can say it's okay. Because they are exactly in line with Guru Varga, South of Anta. And out of particular, if you like to make some different meaning, that then I, I, I am less interested to, uh, to speak anything. First of all, we can watch in South of Antha, is there, any writing. If you can find any mistake in the writing of Siddhar Maharaj, Bhakti Mahat Puribhaya, Keshav Kusay Maharaj, any one, one spot, you can find. So, this is the document that their speech, they are writing all standard, coming from Vaikuntha Jagat. They are not giving any lecture in front of anyone. They are not, surely, they are not passing any lecture in front of anyone. Their speech, their writing, their conception, siddhant, are coming from Vaikuntha Jagat. These are the documents. So, this was a standard set by Mahaprabhu, that any writing, any writing, any poem, whatever, any novel, first of all, that writing should be uh, should be checked up and approved by Sarva Gosai. Otherwise, Mahaprabhu cannot hear it. If Sarva Gosai at all find is okay, then Sarva Gosai is okay. Then he can have the right to recite in front of Mahaprabhu, others not. So naturally, he likes to recite in front of Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu cannot hear. Mahaprabhu already set this kind of rules. So this way, they are sitting to hear that Leela, or uh, whatever he wrote. And whenever all in noontime, all devotees sitting, all exalted devotees, and he was allowed to recite, when he started reading, in the very first sloka, Sarup Gosai started shouting, You foolish! First sloka. When he started glorifying Gauranga, he is going to compare with Jagannath and Mahaprabhu. Comparative statement. He is writing in such a way that it is 100% offense on the road of speed of Gauranga. Follow. The meaning is like that, that Gauranga Mahapu is Brahma, yeah, okay, he is also separate from So after hearing this, the writing he wrote in such a way, the general meaning is that Gauranga is uh, one kind of Brahma-like thing and uh, Jagannath is. But Brahma is one and single. Brahma cannot be two. <laughs> so Sarup Gosai, Sarup Gosai, after hearing the first sloka, started shouting. Started shouting. You foolish! Where from you find this kind of thing? Stop. Everybody shocked up. And the uh, Prakito Kobi, the material writer, you also become very sighful. Cannot read anymore, full of sigh. Bhagavan Das become upset, all devotees become upset. <laughs> he, he wanted to get some, eh? but anyway, what to do? <coughs> Finally, Sarup Gosai is going to give some kippah to him. If you like to write anything, if you like to write anything about Gauranga, you will have to get the association of Gauranga Mahaprabhu Parshat fast. That is the first advice given. Be remember, without the association of a pure devotee, you have no right to speak Harikatha. If you speak, all you can speak wrong. In, in true sense, you will have to get the association mean, you will have to harmonize totally. Not that you can make some Siddhanta. Not that. So, Sarup Gosai, first of all, by watching his painful mood, by watching his painful mood, sighful mood, 
going to best to keep up. Well, if you at all like to write anything about Gauranga, first of all, you will have to get the association of the sparsha of Gauranga. Gauranger bhakta ganer nitya karo sangho. Bengali. Gauranger bhakta ganer nitya karo sangho. Tabeto janiva siddhanto. How you can know siddhanto? How you can know siddhanto? Gauranger bhakta nitya daily. You have to get the association of the parsha of Gauranga. Oh. Then you can realize what is equal actual Siddhanta. Otherwise, whatever you write, all useless. So, about Mahaprabhu, it is written in Chaitanya Charitamrita, Mahaprabhu usually not interested to hear anything written by anyone. But Mahaprabhu feeling very sad, whereas present what they are preaching, they should hear it. It is written Chaitanya Jirjamitra. Rasabhas Siddhanta Virod Sunite Prabhu Rai Krod. If somehow, if somebody is going to read one novel or anything, Siddhanta Virod Rasabhas, Mahaprabhu becomes very angry. Mahaprabhu cannot be here. This is the most fundamental issue. If you are going to write Jasodama watching Rasa Lila of Krishna, how? Huh? Foolish? If you are writing, Yasodama watching the Raslila of Krishna, can you believe? Foolish. It is contradictory. Yasodama is a mother. Yasodama is a mother. Yes, she, she has affection for Krishna. How we can expect Yasodama uh, can go and watch Raslila? Idiot. Huh? It's like idiot you are speaking like this. No, it's not possible. It's called contradictory. It's called contradictory. One rasa, when one rasa going to intersect other rasa, it becomes very dirty. One rasa going to intersect. Madhur rasa going to intersect with dasa rasa. Bas, finish. Mahaprabhu become very angry. Mahaprabhu cannot allow. He has no sense. No common sense how to maintain. No common sense. What is Madhur rasa? What is Siddhanta? What is nothing? No. Mahaprabhu became very angry. That's why Rasa, it is written in Chaitanya Chaitamito, Rasa Bhas Siddhanta Virod Sunite Prabhu Rai Krod. Rasa Bhas Siddhanta Virod Sunite Prabhu Rai Krod. Prabhu cannot be here. Any Siddhanta Virod, wrong Siddhanta is speaking, Prabhu cannot be here. Very careful. Somehow, out of your fanciful attitude, because you think you are you think you are a big boss in the spiritual world, you speak all Baba Ravi Siddhant. That cannot be accepted. Before passing any remark, you will have to think thousands of times what you are speaking. Any mistake, then there was an evolution. So many such cases regarding last Rila. Balram doing, I already gave answer. 2002, one big Acharya approved it. Balramji Maharaj playing, uh, doing rasa with uh, the groups of Krishna, Gopikas. But this should not be allowed. After that, somebody is speaking, in this, in this Kali Yuga, in this particular Kali Yuga, Kalki Avatar is not there. Kalki Avatar is not there. He passed remarks maybe 40 years back. You see the case. Another Acharya also supported it. And somebody from Russia, devotees, a group of people, they are going to put question. What is the opinion of Sambhava? He wrote letter. So I, with humble mood, I say, I say it's a big issue. Because if I speak this way, they can fight with me. So first of all, I write one note of apology. That I am a very a small, you know, man. So I am going to give all scriptural evidence. Don't think I am going, don't think that I, I am going against that Rajajyo or that Rajajyo. Don't think that way. 
if you are going to accept me in a neutral way, I mean, if you find it is real Siddhanta from Sastam, then you can accept. If you find, if you find it is insulting for you, then you can reject, discard. But don't fight. Then I quote all the scriptural evidence, everything from Sastra, wrote, up to now, no answer, no fighting. Because the belief, I give evidence, why not? If Kolkabhita is not there, there should be a special notification, should be there. But no, no one, you can show any, you can say only single, not. Uh, discussion, Sanatana Goswami, Mahaprabhu, or for Bhagavatam, or for Kolki Puran, all I give documents and write. They are not giving us. They realize that Baba Samba was speaking right. Anyway, this is the case. So, I can discuss tomorrow how Rajatta enjoyment going on, Rupa Goswami path is there. Tomorrow I can speak all about this new chapter, eh? follow. And gradually we can go to the last moment, uh, last 12 years, I can discuss how Mahaprabhu absorbingly in, absorbingly in Nitya Lila. Like, that I can discuss gradually. Now we have more six or five days, anyway. So, Aradha Bhagavan Bhajasasthaniya Staddhama Vindavanam Ramma Kachi Dupasana Bhajavadu Vargeno Jakilpita Shrimad Bhagavatam Pramana Mamalam Pema Pumartha Mahano Sri Chaitanya Mahapavar Matamidam Tatra Dharana Paraha Vancha Galvadarusikipasindu Pati Dhanang Pavane Bhavishnabhyo Namo